Welcome back! In this video, I will go over the short sell feature on the platform. In particular, I will discuss when a short sell may occur, how to place an order, how to rebalance, and how to close a short sell trade. There may be some circumstances where you agree with the overall theme, however believe that the circumstances and events in the market are adverse. You may want to trade against the idea or theme, that is to be able to short the tip. This requires you to short sell the securities and the tip, which is selling a stock that you don't own but borrowed from the broker. Tips have been developed to make the process of borrowing and trading the market simple. The short sell feature is fully integrated into the control and settlement system at CIMB. It is fully integrated into the platform and is 100% supported by the operations team at CIMB. All short sell transactions will be compliant with the supervision of CIMB and compliant to the relevant rules and regulations of the markets. Borrow availability for a short sell trade is limited. A short sell order is filled immediately within market hours provided that there is enough borrow availability for that day. The borrow availability is actually shared amongst all users of tips, so if all the borrow amount has been used by other users, your order will not go through to the exchange. We will see several examples later in the video. The functionality of short sell on tips is the same as a regular buy or sell as mentioned in previous videos. If you want to put in a short sell order, you select sell on any of the short sellable tips. Notice that the functions and behaviors of the trade such as minimum order and order breakdown operate the same as previously discussed. If you already hold a regular long position in this portfolio, the platform will provide you the option to either partially sell your position, completely close your position, or to completely close your position and then do a short sell trade. Your order breakdown shows the number of shares you are selling and the number of shares you are short selling. As you see here, all securities that you sell have an amount that you can borrow to short sell. This means there is enough borrow availability for a full borrow. Now suppose you see an order breakdown similar to this. You can see that not all securities listed have shares for you to short sell. This means that some of the borrow availability has been taken up by the other users, hence you have partial borrow. Now what about a short sell trade with zero borrow? How would that look? Because the borrow availability is limited, if there are other users that short sell, then the order of priority becomes important. When this happens, you may see this message, or an error message when you confirm a short sell order. Now that you own a short tip, how does it look in your portfolio page? For one, the tag under the tip will say short instead of long. When I expand a regular trade, I see that all my securities within this tip is listed as long as well. Please note that all values under cost basis, market value, and unrealized PNL are listed as positive. We'll come back to this later. I now expand a short position. Similarly, all securities are listed as short, but notice the values are now negative. This is to show that the securities within this tip are borrowed rather than bought. Let's select the Allocations tab for a more visual depiction of these portfolios. If I scroll down to view the bar chart on the market value by tip, I see a similar positive and negative logic. My long positions are shown on the right of the zero mark in the positive, and my short positions are shown on the left of the zero mark in the negative but the chart above for allocations by market is based on the summation of the absolute values. From time to time, you will encounter rebalancing for a short sell trade. Similar to a regular buy or sell trade, you will receive a notification on the top of the page. Bear in mind that after any rebalance, you will hold the same idea the tip is trying to capture, but the securities in your tip will reflect the most recent research on which names should be selected. There are several scenarios that you may encounter. A short sell rebalance to a long position, a short sell rebalance to another short position with zero borrow, a short sell rebalance to another short position with borrow, and a long rebalance to a short sell position. Let's use the tip Aging Population Australia as the first scenario, a short sell rebalance to a long position. This means that the events of the market have turned, so you want to trade with this theme. You return the portfolio you have borrowed from the lender and then buy the same tip with a different stock constituent weight allocation based on the most recent research. 
This will always work as long as there is enough free equity in the account. The platform prompts me that I can either choose to buy or rebalance to long, or sell rebalance to short. For this scenario, I select buy. Again, from the earlier videos, I can see similar functions and behaviors available associated with a regular rebalance. I can click review order to confirm the rebalance, or if I don't want any change, I can click on not now to leave the tip as is. Now suppose I decide to sell rebalance to short instead for this tip. It may be that the events in the market are still averse and you want to continue to trade against the idea. Here, I continue to borrow, but I want to update the weight allocation of some or all of the securities, similar to a regular rebalance. Whenever I rebalance a short to a short, the order depends on two elements, the actual weight allocation from the rebalance and the borrow availability of the securities that day. Here, I see that only some of the security weights have changed, and these changes are all weight decrease instead of increase, which leads me to believe that there is actually no borrow available for this tip. Like with other rebalance, I can still go ahead with the transaction or I can leave it for now. Let's take a look at a sell rebalance to short that has some borrow availability. With this tip, I can see that some of the securities have weight increase, which requires me to borrow more number of shares for the rebalance. Sometimes you may do a regular buy with a short sellable tip, like this one. When a rebalance occurs, again you have the option to either maintain the rebalance to long or rebalance to short. In the earlier video, I showed you how to rebalance a long to a long, so this time let's rebalance it to short. The logic to this scenario is similar to the first rebalance example we did in this video, but reverse. Here, you close your full position and end up holding a different portfolio by borrowing. This can occur as long as there is still borrow amount available for this tip. The last thing I want to show you is how to close a short sell trade. This may be the case when the markets have changed and you no longer want to trade against certain themes. Or maybe you are unsure of how the market will be affected, so you want to lessen your borrowing. As we initiated the short sell trade by selecting sell on the platform, it only makes sense for us to select buy to close the position. What you are doing is buying back the securities from the lender. Here you have three options. To buy back or close out a partial position, to completely buy back or close out the short sell position, or to close it and do a regular buy as long as you have enough buying power. You can check your minimum buying power under trading limit. I'll leave it here. Thank you very much for watching.